extreme snipers. They have existed since time immemorial. In in they see a Souls PvP stream going on and they think, I better get in on that. I better do some Souls PvP. And depending on the streamer, I think you'll find different people uh, stream sniping. Now, against my own stream snipers, I can do nothing except for try and beat them um, if they're the type of stream sniper who wants to go against me. But I always feel compelled to help other Souls content creators deal with stream snipers whenever possible. This is a Revion stream sniper, I assume stream sniper. Uh, this was during a Revion stream. This is like try hard build, uh, you know, template number three uh, that he got off YouTube. He's got 30% health bonus from an ember. He's got twice as much Estus as the invaders that show up and he wants to run around and he wants to, you know, fight the invaders um, in, in very <laughs> cool duels <laughs> where he's got this huge Estus advantage. Uh, and then this purple is just hanging out, doing absolutely nothing except, I guess, being honorable. Being honorable in invasions and making sure that no one ganks this, this, this poor host. This poor host. Well, thankfully, Revion came along and uh, stole the purple host away. But I always try and help. Like, I don't know, you know, I, I get stream sniped myself. For the most part, I don't mind my, my stream snipers. They're, they're always pretty chill. Um... And they'll actually run invasions. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll summon the blues, they'll run the level, and I get to be an invader. And I don't have to be a fucking duelist all the time. Which is great. Um, but, you know, if Oro is streaming, or Peeve, or Revion, or, you know, if who, whoever. If someone's streaming Dark Souls 3, I always try and get on and help them deal with their stream snipers. Um, this was the first occasion that I had to uh, try and help out Prod. Um... I'm sure most of you know who Prod is. He has a series on YouTube called The Adventures of the World's Worst Invader. So this is The Adventures of the World's Worst Invader's sidekick. <laughs> he had to fight these fucking gankers over and over and over again. And to be fair, this is at soul level... I think Prod is at 140 at this point. Bloodshade Prod. <laughs> and I am... Uh, so I'm soul level 133. Um... I guess it is mostly ganks at this point. Um, this f host here is a, is, a, is a novice wannabe backstab fisher pro. Um, and one of the great things about these sorts of people is uh, people that want to learn how to backstab fish oftentimes give their backs up a lot. So they're very easy to backstab. Um, now, when you want to learn a mechanic, you know, I just do it in invasions. If I want to learn how to be a backstab fisher, I'm going to learn how to do it in invasions. Because that's kind of like hard mode. So I want to learn it on hard mode, you know what I mean? It's not like if I learn it as the host with 30% more health and all my buddies running around clearing my mistakes, that's not going to help me when I want to go into invasions and do it. You know what I mean? So I want to learn how to do it in invasions. And as a result, I can do it under pressure. As opposed to someone who learned how to do it as a host ganking with phantoms to watch their back and you know double estus and all this other shit so I, that's just me that's my personal preference so seeing this uh you know backstab fisher in action uh perry fisher in action um and then getting to destroy him with prod that was fun that was a lot of fun and that other invader that was with us that that lets me touch on another thing I want to talk about, which is whenever you go to a streamer's, um, you know, stream, and they're doing invasions, you you know they have their community there with them, and you know most of their community, most communities will like give the streamer shit and they'll talk shit to the streamer, and it's all fun and games, it's all fair, you know, um, but a lot of them are there invading with the streamer, uh, and in Prod's case, he had this fella named um, Axeman Andrew, which is a reference to... This is another invasion uh, where Prod was dealing with this uh, backstab fisher again. <laughs> Just too much fun. <laughs> but GG's Prod. Um, it was cool to help Prod 
fight gangs. That was fun. But what I was saying was, you learn about um, these streamers' communities. And here we have Dark Spirit Axeman Andrew, who is also invading with Prod. And I'm assuming one of Prod's viewers, but also, obviously, a viewer of the Sticky Bandit. Now, I've never run into this player, which is odd. I'm not saying I know everybody, but damn, I know most people um, in the invasion community. So, seeing this player and having no idea who this was, um, you know, that was a surprise to me, especially someone who was this good at invasions. Um, Axeman Andrew whipping some ass like it's a sticky bandit video you know what I mean um, he's not running directly in to fight the ganks you know what I mean like he's 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 held off he's waiting for you know backup to show up and when you first see an invader standing there you know on the edge sort of taunting the uh, the gankers or daring the gankers to come out into the level you don't know what to expect. You don't know if that person is, you know, trash and they're just going to get thrashed in three seconds, or maybe they're good and they can hold their own. You don't know. So I understand completely when another invader is slow to come hang out with me when I'm like sitting here, you know, basically taunting these guys with lightning irons. But once the fight starts, Axeman Andrew is like, he's in here. And it's great. This host is going to continue uh, just running our ones, trying to chase me down. So what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm I'm, I'm just doing regular rolls, but I'm aiming them backwards, and I should be able to get a backstab on him doing that. But it doesn't end up happening. He gets out of uh, he gets out of the backstab. So here we've got the blender, the ultra great sword, and the curved great sword. Um, both have shields. So this looks like the sort of thing that a two-handed straight sword is actually built to do, which is a weapon art, um, the guard break weapon art, which is awesome. Now you can try and soften people up with the weapon art R2 into the weapon art R1, which if it hits is actually a true combo, which is can be better than a guard break. But I've kind of switched it up to try and soften him up and not, you know, not think that I'm only going to go for that that guard break. The host has used a seed, not a very good use of a seed. It basically just turns this into chaos, um, and that's not going to help him. It doesn't hinder the host, but it doesn't really help him. Um, you know, these deacons aren't going to kill me. I'm not going to let a giant step on me, and it's not like they're only ever just going to go for me. So the seed here is just kind of, I don't know, not a good move. You want to use the seed of the giant tree when your invader is just sitting in the enemies, refusing to come to you when you're a solo host. That's when you want to use a seed. R2 roll catch hell on this blue with a two-handed straight sword. It's it's meta. It's super meta. Everybody knows it's meta. Unfortunately, while I was dealing with the blue, uh, an Aldrich Faithful got ganked, but backstab city. Oh my god. A couple beautiful backstabs. A nice little chain. And then the R2 roll catches begin. And then the Estus punish backstab. Mm mm. It's all backstabs all the time, baby. And Axeman Andrew is just fucking taking care of business over here. He has kept that host away from me long enough for me to destroy the Phantom. That's a good co invader. Oh, what's that you say? He's got the powerful poking partisan for the chase down? Axeman Andrew, you've won my heart. GG's Axeman Andrew. Anyway, I had a blast over on Prod Stream. Um, and yeah, I think you would too. Go check out Prod Stream on Twitch and, uh, you know, help him, like, spank some ganks. I see all the time these fucking invaders on Twitch. They're getting just demolished by ganks and their chat's like, huh, does this guy ever win? And it's like, he might if you'd help. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> This is the build that I used for this. I just kind of threw it. Uh, this, I've had this build for a minute, but I just kind of, uh, you know, started using the R2 pokes. It doesn't make a lot of sense because this is a dark infused build, so the R2 pokes don't do as much damage as they should on counters. But this is just your standard, typical uh, dark build. Um, but I gave myself 18 attunement so I could cast a vow of silence and never use it because it only lasts for 30 seconds. And, it's fucking awful, but it's still the best spell in Dark Souls 3, because that's just Dark Souls 3. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Later, y'all.